hey, how's it going? <laughs> I, don't, I always laugh at that. I don't know why I always laugh at that, but I do. <clears throat> anyway, what am I doing? Okay. Oh, that's what I'm doing. Just a minute. <clears throat> I'm updating my, my YouTube pre-posted, already posted list of videos. I've added a few, I think. What was the last thing? Tape tabs was the last thing I did, I think. So where was that? Where was that? Where was that? Wow. I have done a lot since tape tabs. Where are they? Right here. Wow. I surprise myself sometimes. 5, 10, 15... 16. Okay, uh, so this was, that was summer. So this, I, I'm gonna open it up. No, I'm gonna go to list. I don't want to play it because I'm recording. So I wish it would tell me the date, Google. <laughs> tell me the date of these things. I'm gonna say two months ago, probably. Uh, where am I? Uh, this is November, November 4th, Saturday, November 4th, almost 8 o'clock at night, the last day of daylight saving time for this year. Yeah. I'm a little sad, but we do gain an hour of sleep. Well, for me, an hour of staying awake. <laughs> I'll be up all night because I slept all day. Okay, uh, well, not all day. We woke up at 1.41 today. That's right, 1.41 this afternoon. I went to sleep around 4. Okay, uh, essential oil sprays. So this is essential oil sprays. Oh, oh. I ain't probably thinking, what'd you do that for? But I did it. I did it. Because this, I'm going to put, uh, even though it's like the beginning of November. So I'm going to put August, no, September. Can't type. September 2017, essential oil sprays. All right, and then one video. One video, making an all-natural cleaning solution. And one video. Essential oil hand cream. says one month ago, but I think I did those in September. I could go to video manager. I wonder if, I wonder if video manager would list the day. Oh, it does. Awesome. So, as you can see, Yes, I was right. Essential oil sprays, making an all-natural cleaning solution. Essential oil hand cream, three cats and a laser light. Sundays in blackboard. Three, did I say three days? Three cats and a laser light. 
Three cats, Tammy. <laughs> Get it right. And I know I'm, I'm very picky about stuff like this, but I need to know the exact spelling. It is pretty important for me. Sundays in Blackboard. This is awesome that shows the date. I wish it did that. I wish, actually, I wish it did it on the side over here. When I, I've watched a video and I'm looking for, you know, it shows like recommended for you and other things you might be interested in. <clears throat> other videos. Territorial encroachment. I didn't even know I did that. As a video, I think I just posted it and didn't put any and no bells and whistles on that one. Uh, all natural facial mixture. Did I? No, I didn't. I should have. I should have put a hyphen there. What was that? Facial mixture. Sorry. <laughs> All natural facial mixture. What an exciting title. Uh, learn as I go, modifying my Bose headphones. All these I did that I uploaded in September. I didn't. I this one I think I did. You know I think I did that one. I think I actually did that. No, I think I did it in August because I remember talking about it to my students when I first started the classes. Okay, uh, fixing time. I didn't really fix it though. As a matter of fact, I can't even hear it. I had to go back in. I think it needs a new battery. Now, I think it needs a new battery. Rainy day PowerPoint tip for table making. I want to thank that I hyphenated that, <laughs> Tammy, did you? Yes, you did. Yay. Okay, then October, cat chow down. Oh, you know, I didn't put a little thingy here. Put a little thingy there. Okay, so what was that one? Uh, cat chow down. Oh, checking to see. Cat chow down. That was hilarious. <clears throat> uh, learn as I go, marker stand part one. Why do I do that? Marker stand. And I'm going to put here parts one. <sighs> one and two. So that's, um, and then here I'm going to do two vids. Okay. Then the keyboard pad. Then three cats. I did that from my phone. Uh, video recorded it on my phone and used a, an editing app on my phone called Perfect Image. Not, not really the greatest, not really. 
No. How to in-text citations and works cited MLA stand. You know I'm going to do... Really? Come on. Really? <laughs> Come on. Come on. HD. They're all in HD, I think. Um, well, let's see. They're not all in HD. Get out! Okay, these are the ones I've done. The, this is the last one. So, hmm, I should maybe do... I should do this. That's the last one I've done in September. So the reason I'm making this list is because I keep forgetting, like this one, Territorial Encroachment, I have that on my phone and I was going to modify it with one of the editing apps and I thought oh, I should post this on Facebook but I mean on YouTube Facebook what the heck but I didn't know see as you can see I didn't know that I already did that so this is the last one I've done and what I was thinking about doing today was doing the I'm gonna print that Tammy I'm gonna add the dictionary I hate I hate to see that it's um red underscored like that it drives me crazy <clears throat> yeah from most recent to past okay videos I've already posted to YouTube. Um, oh, haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have to laugh. Laugh. So, oh, what I wanted to do was make a screen capture. Today I'm using Movavi, and I want to see when I did this one. How to in-text citations and works cited MLA style. It's kind of blurry. And I'm thinking, why is this so blurry? It should not be blurry on my screen. Maybe I should view it from, from work, from the office or from the lab computer and see if it's blurry there. Because that's a Camtasia problem if, if the screen is blurry and it shouldn't be blurry. I've made other screen captures like the PowerPoint basics I've made and I think those were from well not this one this is definitely blurry uh, where is it these power uh, not blackboard PowerPoint basics here I've done two of them I'm getting ready I was thinking about doing a third one I should do a screen capture with Movavi I was thinking about doing a screen capture with Movavi, but um, the video suite, Movavi video suite, leaves much to be desired. I think the reason I'm using 16, video suite 16, instead of 17, I have 17, I paid for 17, but I'm having problems with 17, and at the moment my mind is drawing a blank what specific problems they are, and I think it's in the video suite portion. Now, the problem I have with Movavi is that my computer is revving a bit and I usually don't have that problem with Camtasia or I can't remember having that problem with Camtasia although my computer is kind of weird uh, I have had that problem with Movavi even I think when I was running Windows 7 uh, with Camtasia in video editing that uh, whatever videos I'm using, whatever the extension files are, I have problems with um, running, like the, the computer revs a lot, especially 
uh, when I do clip speed and add music and things like that, I'm thinking, you know, this video editor should not really be making my computer rev like that. And then they say, well, it depends on Camtasia support says that it depends on the video that you put into the video editor. And I say mule muffins because it shouldn't, that shouldn't make any difference. Now with Movavi, what I like about Movavi is when I, um, when I get done with the video and I bring it up to view, <coughs> it, well, it pops up to view, it kind of prepares it and then shows you the screen to view it. It, I can, I can save it as a regular video file, MP4 or MOV or AVI or WAV, I can save it like um as that and then i can throw it into camtasia so this is what i'm thinking about doing i'm thinking about it already has the cursor effect even though you can't see it it's there I, even though i can't see it right now while i'm recording it will be there when i view the video so what i was thinking about doing is kind of um doing this short one I've been talking too long already I already know that so how long 20 minutes I've been talking for 20 minutes okay 21 minutes and maybe I'll just do that little bit part there where I was writing down all my videos and stuff and keeping a list of all my videos it's very important for me to keep a list of all my videos because, like I had with the territorial encroachment one, this one right here, I was getting ready to use a, an iPhone app, editing app, like um, one by GoPro that I have called Quick, I think. I can't check right now because I don't have to plug my phone in. And, you know, so I'm thinking, wow, I already did that. And here I was getting ready to put it in again shame on me you know so it's good to have a list so that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to um, edit the video so that only this stuff here about the YouTube stuff that I've been working on making a list keeping staying organized in that fashion back to this one make a list if you have a YouTube channel and you have a lot of videos on your YouTube channel and you don't want to put in repeat performances um, or repeat videos or something then it's always best to make a list and stick to that list and take a look at it and see what's going on so as my computer starts to rev again I am going to stop this video and edit it and see how it plays out maybe it's the Maybe it's the saving part in Camtasia that I have a problem with. Maybe I'm, I've am i been saving them as 720. Maybe I should just save them as 480. Well, it definitely wouldn't take as long to upload on YouTube. But what what is the quality? The quality needs to be good, especially when I do screen capture videos because I'm usually doing something that has to do with uh, Microsoft Word or Blackboard, when I go into Blackboard for my students, something I need for them to pay attention to, or PowerPoint, you know, just, I mean, I'm getting ready to redo the, make a timeline in PowerPoint, transfer it to Word video, and I need that to be clearer than the last one I made. That one was awful, but that was because I didn't have a screen capture program at the time. I was just using my phone, my little tiny, iPhone 3GS and I was yeah I can't believe I did that uh, so on that note have enjoy the last few hours of daylight saving time bye